Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. If you make one common mistake, it can cost you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a GMC Sierra, that generation here from year 2007 to year 2013. If you guys need to find where the dome light fuse is located, you may need to check up to two different fuses. That way, this will explain where you can find them, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping. That way, you do not waste money and time. Why it's important, guys, to always test fuses and relays. All that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. So before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to do engines, transmission, mechanical, bodywork, a little bit of everything guys. We have more than 13,000 free repair videos on our channels that can save you thousands of dollars guys in future repairs. We have anything from American to German vehicles, Asian, uh, anything guys. So now uh, if you need to find, let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, you need to find a video for a starter fuse or uh, you need to see where the starter relay is located all we have to do is just come find that on our channel it will take you about a minute or two to watch it you fix it you're back on the road guys so that's why we're making all these videos for your convenience so let's go ahead and start on it now so the dome light fuses where you can find them we will guys demonstrate on that generation gmc sierra right here you will guys have multiple fuse boxes in that truck but they will work in just one that's on the driver's side open your driver door once you guys do that if you come on the side of the dash right here that's a cover and that cover all you need to do you need to open it once you do that underneath you'll find the main interior fuse box with a layout like this one here before we guys continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below here guys for the dome lights we need to check up the two fuses now here things are a little bit confusing oh but by the way before we start if you need to buy any fuses relays parts tools the good price quick shipping not just for gmc sierra but any car we will put the links in the description of the video below that way you do not waste your money and time check it out that's where we get all our tools and supplies from here guys for the dome line we start here and if you have a missing fuse you count that spot that's fuse one then two three four five fuse number five will need to be checked right here then you go to six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve here you have 13 14 15 16 17 guys fuse number 17 that will be the fuse that you will need to check that 10 m fuse so fuse number five fuse number 17 hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time